We're looking at an ICO 435 oscilloscope. It's a 4.5 megacycle uh, bandwidth instrument. It has uh, four basic horizontal time-based steps from 100 through 100,000 hertz for the TV vertical and TV horizontal. The, uh, there's a continuously uh, adjustable horizontal gain, uh, vertical positioning, horizontal positioning, focus, intensity, astigmatism, all of your relative controls uh, standard on, uh, on modern scopes. Um, we have vertical gain attenuation. Um, we can handle from 0 0.05 uh, volts per centimeter to 50 volts per centimeter and that corresponds to the 1, 10, 100, and 1,000 positions. There's a calibration position where you can calibrate your probe using the calibration test point. And um, that's a zener diode uh, voltage control test point, uh, voltage and frequency control. Uh, AC, DC inputs. And uh, this scope has been modified to allow it to use a, a modern BNC 20 megahertz probe, which I'll include. And uh, I'm also throwing in a, uh, an ICO user manual and service guide, uh, complete with uh, all the information you'd need about how to use your scope and uh, calibration and repair. We have the uh, schematic diagrams and parts lists included. So you'll have a complete kit. If you, uh, you can either use this as your main scope if you have an another, or maybe you consider this as a secondary scope uh, to be used in an area where you otherwise wouldn't want to move a scope, maybe have this on a shelf. It um, works very well. We'll take it through a little bit of its paces here. You can see the, the traces changing. As I adjust my frequency vernier on my my uh, RF generator, we have plenty of brightness. We can turn this thing up, and we can take her back. So, um, as you can see, it's perfectly functioning scope. I, uh, I did use it, as I mentioned in my uh, article, to, to do some service work on a Tektronix scope. It helped me debug the power supply area and find a, uh, a defective uh, blanking transistor. So, good luck and uh, thanks for listening.